I'm Ro Khan, and this is the Row Report, around your world right now. Beaches up and down the New England coastline were closed this weekend due to sharks. On Cape Cod, four great white sharks were sighted. And in Seaside Park, New Jersey, a beach was closed after a four-foot sand shark literally swam out of the ocean and up onto the beach, snapping its jaws at nearby sunbathers. Luckily, no one was injured, and the surf swept the predator back into the ocean just a few minutes after it emerged. Ironically, this is the same beach on which the Jersey Shore's Snooky was arrested just the night before after refusing to get off the beach. Boy, this town has a problem. Vicious predators finding their way onto the sand, and sharks too? A major study by the EPA puts to rest worries that the dispersants being used to break up the oil in the Gulf are themselves an environmental threat. Tests show that the dispersant being used now is no more toxic than any other chemical found in household products like detergent, and far less toxic than the oil itself. ABP, congratulations. You finally got one right. Breaking up is hard to do. It's off again for the on-again, off-again couple of Bristol Palin and Levi Johnston. And it's not because of rumors that Levi's ex-girlfriend, Lanicia Garcia, is pregnant with his child, a story Garcia now firmly denies, but reportedly because Levi's other ex-girlfriend, Brianna Plum, has broken bad on Bristol and posted pictures of herself and Levi on Facebook. Why am I telling you this story? President Obama is in his hometown of Chicago, where he celebrated his 49th birthday at a private event last night. I, for one, hope he enjoyed it, because I'm not looking forward to his 50th. That's midlife crisis time. And every time this guy declares a crisis, it costs taxpayers $60 zillion. Universal health care is one thing, but can you imagine how much universal sports cars and trophy wives are going to cost? A new poll is out showing how people spend their time online. Number one, social media, which accounts for 25% of our online time, followed by gaming at 10% and email at 8%. Hey, wait a minute. That adds up to less than 50%. What else could people be doing online? Oh, yeah. Now you've heard it all, people. I'm Rokan, and this has been the Row Report.